Hey guys, Professor, and we're back for another video. Inside this video, we're going to be talking about the different stages of mitosis. You guys have probably learned about mitosis inside of your classes, but uh, just as a quick overview, I'm going to tell you exactly what's the purpose of it. So, mitosis is pretty much a cell division. There's two types of ones. Uh, there's meiosis and there's mitosis. And meiosis is mostly meant for sexual reproduction cells, or, or sexual reproduction births. Um, mitosis is mostly meant for asexual re purposes. In this video, we're going to be talking about the different stages of mitosis and what the actual purpose is. So mitosis is pretty much cell division, uh, where pretty much you have one mother cell uh, dividing itself into two new cells, which are the new daughter cells, and they're pretty much identical. So we have mother cell into uh, that. You have mother cell into two identical daughter. And pretty much what it's going to do is that it's going to simply have a DNA replication purpose because it's the process itself is pretty much just duplicating the contents of the cell's nucleus, and it's going to be putting it into the two new parts, which are now the daughter cells. And it's pretty much uh, the purpose is, is just that it's going to be transferring onto the information as uh, the DNAs of the cell's nucleus is going to be split into two, two equal sets of chromosomes so that each uh, chromosome has the set which it needs for vital uh, and to actually, uh, actually work. And pretty much what's going to happen is that we have four major stages. We have prophase, we have metaphase, we have anaphase, and we have telophase. Inside of those phases, we have mini stages, which we also have uh, phases such as interphase, we have prometaphase, and we have phases such as cytokinesis, which mostly involve cytoplasm. So let's start talking about mitosis. So let's just move over. And let's talk about actually breaking up and how it actually starts. So the actual initial process of mitosis starts in uh, late interphase. So we're going to write down interphase. And what's going to be happening in interphase is that DNA has already been copied. So DNA already copied. And remember, DNA gets copied in the early stages of the G2 phase, so, uh, and then interphase is generally the late stages of the G2 phase, so we'll just write down late G2. And at this point, pretty much, the chromosomes inside the nucleus, they have the sister chromatids, but they're not clear at this point, and they're still not able to be clearly seen. So what we'll generally have uh, as a visual representation is that we might have something like this. We might have these chromosomes, you know, all unwind, um, and there'll be something like this. Uh, and these have been duplicated, so these are uh, duplicated DNA. DNA. And at this point, we also have the nucle nucleolus. Uh, and if you remember, the nucleolus starts to disappear in prophase. So we have the nucleolus because it's still intact. And we have the nucleolus. nucleolus. And we're going to also have this nuclear membrane. Nucleolus. Let's just get rid of that. We are membrane. Okay, so now that we have labeled uh, interphase and the late stage of interphase, let's start moving on to what it's actually doing. So at this point, the, we know that the DNA has been copied. And we know it's unwind, but now what's going to happen is that we're going to start moving on into the early prophase. So now we have prophase. Prophase. 
And there's two stages of prophase. There's early and there's prometo slash late. And pretty much what we're going to be talking about first is the uh, early prophase. So in the early prophase, the actual cell is going to start breaking down. Uh, and the entire main purpose of prophase is that uh, the sister chromatids are now starting to, are starting to become condensed. So going from this and just going unwind, it's going to start becoming something like this. Where we have a central mirror in the middle and we'll have two individual chromatids. And these uh, these dashes just indicate that there's two sister uh, chromatid spots there. And what the other main purpose is that the actual spindle fibers are starting to actually form. So what we're going to have inside the cell is that we'll have something like this. So we'll have this big cell. And we'll have we'll start having these X's, and these X's are going to be representing the chromosomes. So the X X X. Uh, and what these X's are going to have is that the nucleolus, which we talked about back here inside the interface, now that is trying to disappear. So to indicate that it's trying to disappear, we're going to do a very grayish little outline of it. So um, let's just move back into a, let's just move into the color green. So nucleolus disappears. appears. And what's going to happen is that these spindle fibers or these meiotic spindle fibers are going to start uh, they're going to start having actual formations. So what we're going to have here is that we're going to let's just do this in blue. That we'll have these meiotic spindle fibers and they're going to like have start spreading out like this. They haven't completely spread out yet, but they're going to start spreading out and the main purpose of them to spread out is that they can reach over here. They want to be reaching here, they want to be reaching there, they want to be just the po two polar sides of the actual cell. Uh, and at this point what we have is that we'll have these cr uh, we'll have these actual chromosomes and we'll have the central meters. And then what we'll have over here are the actual central zones. So central mirrors and central zones are quite different. Central mirrors are going to be what's connecting these two, uh, these two sister chromosomes. So this is a central mirror. Central mirror. And what's going to happen over here is that these spindle fibers are going to have central zones. And that's going to be the main function of actual prophase. It's simply just going to start condensing. Uh, the nucleolus is going where the actual, like, the ribosomes and the spindle fibers are going to start forming. That's going to start disappearing. And it's pretty much allowing the actual nucleus to start breaking down. So, moving on from early prophase, remember that uh, we'll just outline this as early prophase. So this is... This is early. Now let's move on to late prophase. So let's do this in a different color. Let's do it in teal uh, or light blue. And we'll have metaphase or pro metaphase actually. Pro metaphase. And remember, pro metaphase is simply just late prophase. Prophase. And what's going to be pretty much happening in these late prophases is that after the actual uh, chromosomes, you know, have gone from this to this, and the spindle fibers are trying to reach their polar opposites on the actual cell, uh, they're pretty much, the chromosomes are not going to actually be visible. And when it's starting to become visible, that's simply just a sign, that, and along with the nucleolus pairing, it's simply just a sign it's simply just a sign that the nucleus is actually ready to break down.
So after the chromosomes have finished, they're very compact. Now they're going to be very uh, close together as uh, they were not before as they were very loose and unwind. So now at this point, what's going to happen is that we have the nucleolus disappeared. So let's just do this as a diagram. So we'll have these nucleus and these chromosomes trying to like lie down. And they're pretty much getting ready for metaphase. So at this point, they've the the actual uh, spindle fibers have reached around their polar opposites, and now they're trying to uh, send over their actual spindle fibers onto one onto each side of the chromosome. So we'll have two spindle fibers attaching onto each of the chromosomes. And all that's going to happen at this point is that we're going to allow the nucleus to be prepared for uh, metaphase. So moving on from that, let's talk about metaphase. Let's just get rid of, let's just get rid of prophase real quick. So prophase has now been disappeared. So let's talk about metaphase. Well, metaphase's main purpose is that now it's going to simply just have the chromosomes aligned to a simple spot, and uh, it's going to be just continuing on what happened in prometaphase. So at this point, what's going to happen is that all the chromosomes are going to start lying down properly. So we'll have, let's just write down metaphase, at a phase. So what we're going to have is we're going to have this big cell, and then we're just going to have these X's lined across. Just imagine these X's lying down so that the X's are pointing away rather than up. So, yeah. Let's just see if we can actually try to do that. Um, okay, that'll be good enough. Yeah, just imagine that the chromosomes are aligned apart. And what's going to be happening is that, let's just get rid of this, so we'll have an actual circle. So these spindle fibers are now going to start attaching. So we'll have one here, one here, we're going to have one here, one here, and have one here. And I have one here. Remember, we're going to have two on each of the actual chromosomes. So you should have one. You should have one line from each of the polar uh, sides of the meiotic spindle fibers are gonna, going to be going to one of the chromosomes. And at, at this point, pretty much all the chromosomes should be attached with uh, should be attached to two of the microtubules. And every microtubule should be attached to at least one chromosome. So, metaphase is actually one of the longest phases in mitosis. It actually is the longest phase in the four state, primary stages of mitosis. And at this point, it's literally just going to be start getting ready to tear apart. So, moving on from that, let's talk about anaphase. Anaphase. Let's do anaphase in a different color. So anaphase's main purpose is that it's simply just going to separate the actual centromeres into uh, separate chromatids. So what's going to be happening in here is that the actual uh, protein which is holding the cis chromatids together is going to be breaking apart. So now they're going to start separating. So if we have, and you're also going to realize that it's going to have a very ovalish shape because we're going to start realizing that the uh, that cytokinesis is trying to take place. So we'll have this, and then we might, and then we'll have around this type of shape. Uh, around here, depth. And, and what we're going to pretty much have is that they're going to start separating. So if we have one here and one here, we might have this, this, this. Then we'll have this, this, this. And they're simply just going to still be attached, so like this. And then, so then we'll have this over here. Okay. And 
should be our drawing. Okay, so at this point, at the, at the end of phase, it's pretty much that the thing that was holding it together is trying to separate. So now each one of these small Vs that you're seeing is actually turning into a chromatid. So, sister chromatids, uh, sister is spelled wrong, sister chromatids become actual chromosomes. So, become chromosomes. And at this point, the microtubules aren't attached to the chromosomes itself, but they're just pretty much pushing it apart. So, it's making this cell go from this, and it's going to be pretty much just pushing this out, they're pushing this out. So, it's going to make, be making this cell more of an ovalish shape, because it's going to start creating a little egg crack shape. And that's the main purpose of anaphase. This is pretty much uh, getting ready for telophase and later cytokinesis, uh, dealing with the cytoplasm. So let's get rid of anaphase and let's move on to telophase. Telophase. Well, telophase is many, uh, pretty much the main thing is that these the two daughters uh, the two daughters are going to now be separated into the nuclei. So the two daughter nuclei are being formed pretty much. So in this one, uh, the actual oval shape is very clear. So we'll have like this, and then we'll have more of like an eight shape. We'll have a we'll have a shape like that. And pretty much the spindle is actually now broken down, and it's going to have its actual two nuclei form. So now that each, so now the, and the nucleolus is going to start forming again. So let's make this a bit bigger, so we can have the actual proper drawing. So we'll have like this, this, and then like this, that. Let's just get rid of this as well, so we can actually have it a bit bigger, like that. It pretty much is going to have more of like an eggshell type shape because it's starting to crack. And what's going to pretty much happen in this one is that the nuclei are trying to, uh, they're trying to actually like form. So we'll have something like this. So let's just do it in blue. So we'll have something like this because uh, it's not formed completely and we'll have a nucleolus form as well. So nucleolus. Olus. Uh, and now at this point, pretty much what we had from the actual uh, these V's that we had in um, in anaphase, they're going to start becoming uh, more of the condensed ones we saw in uh, late late interphase, or actually around mid interphase. So they're going to start becoming uh, actual uh, starting to form chromosomes. So they're trying to pretty much condense, and they're trying to go away from the unwinding shape. And the actual nuclear membranes, uh, as this blue dotted line shows, they're starting to form again. So nuclear, uh, nuclear, so uh, nuclear membranes. And that's pretty much going to form. And then, at this point, the chromosomes just condense, and they go, they're trying to come back to their actual figure. Uh, this exact same thing is happening on this side, where we pretty much have this. That's that, that, that. And then we'll have like this, which is indicating the nucleus, and we'll have like this. And then, and that's pretty much all that's creating. And then over in the middle of the actual thing, we're going to have start having this eggshell type thing. It's going to start pulling away. And, and at this point, it's pretty much going to create a point of tension. And this point of tension is where the break is going to happen. And this is where the actual two uh, are going to actually form and separately. So let's go away from telophase onto cytokinesis. So, cytokinesis is the last part, and it pretty much deals entirely with the actual division of the cytoplasm. So, once we have something like this, uh, where we have the two...
Okay, so once we have something uh, from the actual late TLO phase, when, once we start having the actual break happening, so we'll have something like this, and they're going to be very close together. As we see, over here is going to be the point of tension. Let's just do the point of tension in a different color. Over here is going to be the point of tension the, in the blue. And in cytokinesis, what's pretty much happening is that they're going to start breaking apart. So we have uh, the actual, what we're going to have is that we'll have the actual uh, nucleus here, we'll have another nucleus here. And these are pretty much daughter to two daughter nuclei that started forming in telophase and the late of anaphase. And it's pretty much what's going to happen is that they're pretty much going to print away and then break apart. So we're going to go from these two actual uh, individual pinching and the point of tension is going to happen and this is going to form this is going to form the actual two individual daughter cells so we're going to go from the actual point of tension so we're going to go to here and these are going to be the two daughter cells daughter cells So I hope you guys understand uh, the four main stages of the actual mitosis along with other stages such as the G, uh, G2 phase, interphase, uh, prophase, uh, with the prometaphase, and cytokinesis. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it. Uh, and with that note, Professor MR out.